How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph and Customs? Um, time for a vlog. <laughs> I'm trying to get a photo, so I've switched to video. That's my workshops there. This is where we fucking live. Look. You gotta be having that. Fuck about. You gotta be having that. So there's Harry the bastard still sat there. I'm gonna have a shuffle this morning. We're gonna shuffle the pack. Our Dean's Triumph can stay where it is. And our Dex. Yeah, the big wide back bike. I've got to get the back end in there. I've finished the swing arm, just needs to clean up. And if you look on my last vlog, I think you'll see me threading the spindle, which was a fucking task that I was really proud of myself for, for achieving, to be fair. Jules's ex. XS750, I'm saying like I don't know, but I do. Awaiting parts, we're going to tidy that away somewhere. We need a proper shake up because the star of the show is our Barney's Triumph Bobber. Going to get it back on its wheels. I've got some trick machining to do to finish mounting the rear mud guard on it. So uh, stay tuned for the update on that. Ah uh, geez, Sportster and his feather bed frame is still awaiting work as are the Motor Marini, Motor Martin, sorry, huh. Stan's Motor Martin, Nicky's trike, my 600 Suzuki will be getting started during my time off from other workshop duties so I'm trying to get a, a day a week on that as soon as I can. Also fresh in is Chris's tracker, 750 Kawasaki road bike. It's been jacked up. Um, that's in for a bit of this, that and the other, which is nice. A bit of TIG welding or brazing, sorry. I'm going to end up doing on the petrol tank. And we're going to fit this seat loop that he's supplied. I don't know if we bought this online or, or quite what, but it's all right. Yeah. And a few other bits, you know. Feel the bits and bobs. Mount his mug guards. Do a bit of this, that and the other. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that. It'll be like fucking Steve McQueen's in the house. It will. That's a good job. Looking forward to that. So, look. We've just made a pretty thing. It's now afternoon of day of filming. They've cooled down a bit. I've just... If you follow my S escapades... Yeah. If you follow me on fucking YouTube... You'll see that I'm doing Barney's bobble up. We've got a front end in, we've got the front mud guard fucking sorted. Uh, we're just doing the back end now. We've had to make a bit of a fucking, a bit of a fucking bracket, a lot of a bracket. Look, countersunk for the old bolts. That goes inside the back mud guard, and that goes between the mud guard and the swinging arm. So, we've made that bad boy today. And that is gonna fucking get that in. The back wheel can then go in once I've done some other bits and bobs um, and then I can look at finishing off his mud guard stays for him and then I can take it all out again and give the back mud guard a bit of a polish and then put the swinging arm and the back wheel and the back mud guard and all of that assembly in for keeps oh, fuck about so Barney these fucking mud guards as beautiful as they are they're like made of fucking plasticine or something they don't go out of shape, but fucking they've only got a fart next to them and you mark them up. The shirt buttons on my fucking shirt as I'm polishing and making scratches in it. So I've fucked myself up a bit and give myself proper fucking backache. And that needs a quick finish with the old fucking halts. 
to get it about fucking as shiny as I'm fucking getting it. There you fucking go. Oh, thunderstorms my ass. Think about it. It's, it's been glorious and they're giving out 20 degrees and flash floods and the world is ending shit. So bikes are parked up and cars got out and it's not fucking necessary, is it? While we're on the subject of cars, not, not necessary, we'll uh, endeavour to pop the bonnet with one hand. Bear with me. Because we need to top up the aircon. Don't roll out using this shit. They do uh, a leak preventer that you put in first and then if needs be drain the system again and go with this uh, environmentally friendly shizzle. It's great stuff. You just basically you just connect it to your low pressure side and your aircon, which is this side. Which I'll try and do one handed but I might fail so bear with. In fact yeah, we'll fail, so try with the other hand. There you go, we've got it. And you can see that we're showing alert there, but it's not running. I need to run it up. And uh, then we'll release the gas, top it up. The aircon's working a treat since I did all that fucking work on it. Just in time for this red hot weather, because you don't want to take a bike home, it's going to flash flood. Like, there we go, look, happily on the blue. Hands emptied. Eco-friendly refrigerant is surging through the fucking system, and I don't mind telling you, even with an outside temperature of 27 degrees, the outside centigrade, it's fucking blind cold. Yeah, ain't it? Have it. So, Liz is a bit camera shy, so I'll focus on the food. And it's our anniversary, eight year anniversary, bless her. She didn't get a medal. She just got to wake up next to this gorgeous hunk of a man that I am. <laughs> bless her. But there you go. So, yeah, this is look, anniversary lunch because we can. So back to reality, your son's on crack and your daughter's got nut stains on her back. No, sorry, back to reality, look, next day, on the bobble. I'm uh, two and a half hours in and we've got that back end all in. I got that loosely assembled yesterday. So we've finished that, we've fitted it up. We've fucking, Jesus, so much going on here. Look. We've got these two air boxes. One each side that leads through into the uh, fuel rail is uh, disguised as a carburetor. All these separate things. There's a fucking pipe work underneath that I can't show you from this side. Uh, um, this fucking this pipe work that joins this that goes into this and each side. Fucking Jesus, Father Ted. That was a fucking pain in the, uh, and it's often the simplest of things. The fuel line, uh, sorry, rear brake line, fucking fuel line. The rear brake line and the fucking ABS sensor, routing, routing them. What I found was a photograph from when I was stripping it down and it showed that clip there, but it didn't show that it actually bolts to the swing arm and so on and so forth. So that was a put off. Scan the photos, have a brew while you're eating your fucking porridge type of fucking affair. Um, they're not going to reach. They're too short. They have to go there. We've got five overs in it now, so it's not going to happen, is it? Barney's sorting that out. I'll put the clutch cable on. I reckon it'll be fine. The uh, front brake cable. Excuse me. Front brake hose. Why am I saying cable? Is it... Yeah, I, I think it'll be all right. It really, it should go round the forks here for me, or something better than where I've put it, but it's not gonna reach else. And uh, it's not too shabby, not too fucking shabby. So we fired up the Triumph, and I'm waiting for the coolant to sort itself out so I can get our cover on. 
sounds good, everything's good. Uh, some of the brake lines are still disconnected as we talked about. I think that's what the span of it's giving us there. And there ain't a great deal of fuel in it, so. She's a shaking, she's a making. So, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Um, we didn't manage to do fuck all on our Danes. I'm gonna do some tomorrow. Shorten the handlebars, look at mounting the front brake, then he's gonna look at foot pegs. Barney's, check that fucker out. Check out the series, he's fucking done. And I'm oh, fucking in love with it. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so fucking happy with how that's turned out. It's fucking brilliant, brilliant. Check out the series, yeah, on my channel. There we bastard. Diana. The biggest thing is the big red thing. The elephant's in the room. Fucking forks, you won't believe how much it costs. I've just been on the phone to him and Dean and it's all good, but fuck me, I'm glad it ain't mine. I couldn't do it. There you go. Let me spin you out. So, it's been a fucking... If you follow me on socials, you'll understand we had a bit of a family occurrence. That's all I'm saying. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. And hopefully, I'll have a bit more of a mixed bag. Lots of love, everyone. Have a great one.